today's speaker from 99.co, Joanna. Today, she will be sharing with us on how to become a digital marketer in two minutes training materials. Without further ado, I will pass the time to jo Joanna. Joanna, please. Hi everyone, okay, I'm Joanna. I'm the account, agent account manager for um, Orange Tea. So nice to meet you all. Okay, today's agenda would be to cover two, power, two powerful tools that we have. One, it's called the prospector. The other one is called the researcher. Okay, so I'll be teaching you guys how to uh, utilize these two very powerful tools that we have under 99.co today, as well as um, explaining some other uh, key features uh, some other products like uh, Listing Plus and how the uh, subsidy of $200 by 99.co can help you and um, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, let's move on. Okay, so this slide is to just introduce ourselves. Uh, we are your account manager. So here's Ivy and myself, Joanna. So feel free to, you know, snap some photos, um, take down our phone numbers. Okay, so in any if you have any questions regarding uh, 99.co or even iProperty, you can come look for us. Just uh, WhatsApp us can already. We will uh, try our best to revert as soon as possible. Okay, so next slide. Okay, so before I, I, am, I start all the topics, right, let me just do a quick overview of um, 99.co. Okay, so actually this year in March, we had a joint venture with iProperty. Okay, so uh, we are happy. We are, we are very happy to be partnering with iProperty now. So we are like two in one bottle. Okay, so when you purchase our Platinum or Ultimate account, you will be getting both 99 Premium account plus iProperty Premium account. Okay, so you pay a price, but you get two bottles. So it's like very value adding to our uh, agents when they sign up with 99.co. Okay, so this uh, basically is our Q3 milestone this year. So we are very happy to announce that we have more than 3.8 million monthly page view and exposure for all our agents listing online as in, on, on 99.co. Okay, and we have actually delivered more than 480,000 leads inquiries to our agents. Okay, most, um, actually most of our leads, right, will be in our 99.co's inbox. So I really, really urge all the uh, agents, uh, Orange Tea agents, uh, please, if you have 99.co um, subscription, please always check your inbox. If you do not receive any calls or WhatsApp, they might be just in your in inbox waiting for you to reply before you can proceed on with your WhatsApp. Okay, so remember to check your inbox. Okay. So this slide is uh, very simple, so to let you know that we have a significant growth from the past quarter. So this year, um, our marketing effort had actually put in so much, so much effort with um, the re most recent Singapore property show as well, where uh, we had the partnership with Mediacorp, and then they appoint PropNext to be the spokesperson because I believe um, PropNext actually has the largest amount of agents. That's why, that's the reason why Mediacorp appointed them lah. Yeah, so basically for us, right, 99.co is just a partnership with MediaCorp whereby MediaCorp appointed PropNex. Ah. Don't get us wrong. Not that we want to really appoint like PropNex. Okay, we just want to be fair also. Okay, so uh, with all these marketing efforts, right, the significant growth in terms of traffic and market, market share is, uh, is really very good for us, good exposure. Okay, so actually, as you can see for this slide, right, okay, as compared to uh, competitor P in red color, I do not not need, need to give names like you should know which bottle is actually dominating the market okay but you can see that actually they have actually fall from 80 plus percent now to 60 plus percent and for our for our side right we actually increase our market share up to 30 plus percent which is which is actually 50 percent of a uh, uh, competitor p good enough lah, huh? so um we also trying to work as hard as possible um, in the latest years to actually keep up and to compete with competitor piece to not let them monopolize as well. Okay, so yeah. And this slide is to compare us to other bottles. Actually, we are the direct competitor to competitor P, like, as most of you all know. So this is how we position ourselves to, let's say, uh, competitor E. Okay, so we are really like the second in the market. Next. Okay, just now, like I've mentioned, we had this... um partnership with Mediacorp, okay, which is really good for us because Mediacorp has gave us so, so, so much visibility beyond our platform. So you will actually uh, see us on television or even our radio stations. Okay, in the morning, you when you drive to work, sometimes the, the live will actually, uh, the radio live will actually mention our name and we are very thankful for that. Okay, and also 
for uh, we are also we are also partners with uh, Capital Mall whereby on their big billboards, right? Like let's say uh, on the left photo, you see uh, Injunction 8 Bishan. Okay, you can find 99.co on big billboards like that. So when there's a lot of traffic, when all people walk walk by, uh, they will really look at the billboard and see, hey, what is 99.co? They might be curious and uh, they might, you know, go online and search for us. And from there, they might use our portal as compared to our competitors. Lah. So these little, little marketing efforts to grow, to help us grow. Okay, so even uh, other than online online marketing effort, we also got offline online uh, offline efforts. Okay, so what happened right is uh, if let's say you key in HDB resale or even rental uh, 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 like a uh, Singapore listing portal, you will actually find us right at the top few. Sometimes the first. Okay, first um, so you will find us like the the organic SEO. Like the Adoku is actually the first thing when you you come up with Google. You type in Google. So actually, we also we are the only company, right, that is that has partnership with Google. So later on, you will see, uh, like let's say Instagram, Facebook, our marketing cam campaign, all is partnership with Google. So we will keep appearing, lah. Sometimes when you scroll Facebook or let's say Instagram, you also can see us. For example, I hey, uh, don't have example. <laughs> okay, never mind. So anyway, basically, you will see us on even Facebook and Instagram, lah. Okay. So, um, you know, like if we buy ads, right? If we buy ads, okay, the first one, um, you will see like an AD in front. All this is uh, when people throw money, then can see the ads. Okay, like, like the second one, SRX, when they throw money, then you can see. But the thing is, right, for us, uh, we are very organic SEO. So all these cannot use money by one. It's literally, right, because a lot of people search for our portal on Google. That's why you can see um, 99 .co coming up on Google whenever you search. So this is very organic, uh, organic SEO, you all should know. Okay. So um, without further ado, okay, after explaining uh, what 99.co is, so today I'm going to teach you how to use Prospector as well as Researcher. Okay, so let me do uh, stop sh uh, sharing first because the two Prospector can only be found on our 99.co app in your mobile phone. Follow? Any question, please uh, like key in the chat box. Uh, then uh, Phyllis will help me to reply. Okay, I'll stop share now and share my phone screen. Okay, hang on. Give me a minute. Ah. Okay, iPhone. Okay, can you all see my screen now? Can, right? Okay. So, for those who have already have our app or for those who do not have our app, okay, you know that uh, ours, our app, right, is where you really must be really active, like where you can put your listing as well as see all these featured tools, okay, over here. Okay, so what happened if um, you are not a subscriber to 99.co, right, basically you cannot see this listing tab because you are not a paid agent, okay. Only paid subscriber, paid agent can have this listing tab whereby you can create your listings as well as to, to, to see all these and use all these uh, featured tools that we have. So all together, we have nine featured tools, including researcher. But the only difference is researcher tool, right? Cannot be found on 99.co's app. Okay, so where do you find researcher? So later that one, uh, I will cover again. So um, let's proceed with Prospector first. Okay, so for Prospector, it's the first um, tool. Okay, this is a really power powerful tool. Okay, so basically, what is Prospector? Okay, if let's say you, um, I believe some of you agents actually uh, does mail mailers, uh, like flyers, mailing labels, okay? It's a very traditional way um, and it's a very efficient way for you to find leads, like a potential owners, okay? So if let's say uh, the traditional way of doing flyers, right? If let's say you were to cover um, let's say District 19. Okay, this is where I stay, la, so I use District 19. If you were to cover District 19, do you know that actually, right, um, District 19 got 60,000 over units in total. And it's not very cost efficient in a way. Why would I say that? Because if let's say you want to blanket the whole District 19, huh, you don't even know which owner, right, is actually earning money. Okay, that's the first thing. Don't know which owner is earning money, capital gain. And you also don't know whether the owner's house, right, is actually... Uh, at the MOP or SSD date, is it over or not? So if you ask them to sell, they are actually losing money. Okay, so if let's say 
I tell you this prospector app right can actually help you filter out of those agents right earning a certain amount of money in terms of capital gain at the same time SO, SSD and MOP over already means it's good to sell from 60,000 prospects right I mean the entire of uh, district 19 I actually can filter down to around 9,000 prospects whereby these owners are the potential owners right that are actually earning money Okay, so how do we go about it? Okay, so let me click into Prospector first. Okay, first, maybe I can show you by searching the district, the one I, I've explained earlier on. Uh. So I will just uh, key District 19 to show you guys how does it work. Okay. Okay, so if I click District 19, right? Okay, so I put all, uh, and then the MMP, uh, MOP SSD date, I will just put completed all. Okay, and then for gains, I just put, um, oh, I will just give you a rough gauge. Rough gauge. If say I never put like a, um, a rough gauge of more than 20 percent gain, how many prospects are there in a district 19? So if we continue, oh, okay. Actually, it's not 60,000. It's 160,000. It's really crazy, lah. Like um, district 19, there's so much, so much uh, units for there to you know, uh, for you to go and search. But the thing is, you also do not know. You see, um, let's say this Kingsford's Water Bay, the estimated loss is actually 85,000. It's not even gaining money. If let's say you are going to send Miller to this particular unit, it's not very cost efficient. Okay, it's wasting of resource, resources, wasting of time and money as well. Because Miller, you know, you have to keep doing every month in order to have a good um, reach to the owners. Okay, so for example, I'm going to filter. Um, okay, lah. Uh, I will just be daring a bit, okay? I will just pay, put the gains at uh, tw more than 20% and do 300,000 gains. Maximum gain will be like the more the merrier. La. So minimum, I put 300,000. Um, MOP, SSD did. I can put completed or You can even do like future uh, prospecting. La, where you say, okay, okay, one month to go to the MOP or SSD did, right? But I just want to put completed all to, to let you all see. La. Okay, so as you can see, from 160 prospects, right? I actually help you all to reduce to 9,000 prospects. Okay, so all these owners, right? MM, the first thing is their SSD date is completed. Okay, MOP date also completed. And the next thing is they're actually earning more than 300,000. All these are potential owners. Why? Like, because you can actually reach out to them. Okay, say Mr. Owner, do you know that uh, actually your unit, right? Is if you, if you are willing to sell now, you are actually earning 300,000. And then from there, right, you can do your magic, like maybe help them uh, secure exclusive listing, help them sell their house, and then upgrade their lifestyles even, like buy new launch condo or resale condo. So in a way, you can earn two hands, okay, right? Okay, so um, actually, you can actually click this little button here, this thing, to show the tower view. What do I mean by tower view? Okay, let's say um, this uh, 77 uh, block, okay? And you can see actually, this is the tower view, very interesting. Okay, so for, this is a, a condo, right? Yeah, it's a condo. Okay, so what happened, right, is, okay, this water tower, if you click in, so two times. The first one is actually uh, the TOP date, 2012, okay, it's, uh, they, the owner actually bought this house at 1.18, million okay and then it actually sold one time uh during 2017 1.2 million okay so uh for condo right when it reflects so two time right it's actually really just uh, sold one time because the first one is a uh, um like a uh, large in caveat so yeah the actual actual uh transaction is actually this one only so the one in 2020 uh 2019 okay and this is the top where, they, where the first, un, uh, first owner purchased their unit, okay? And another question would be, how do you actually uh, tabulate the estimated gain? Okay, so you see this little I button, right? Okay, wait, wait, sorry, I need to click on the I button. So you click on the I button, right? This thing will come out, okay? So um, let me uh, explain how we actually do a gauge. Lah. For HDB, right, how do we um, see the estimated gain, right? It's based on the latest 10 transaction from the past 18 months. And then what we do, we do a, an average, okay, based on like 500 meter radius, okay, away, 500 meter, 
500-meter radius away with a similar square feet, like, as in same area per square feet. That's how we tabulate for HDB. And condo is slightly different. For condo, right, we base on the latest transaction, latest 10 transaction for the past 18 months on similar stack, okay, similar stack with similar square foot area of the project as well. That's how we tabulate. But actually, all this tabulation is um, quite accurate because why? We get this information from URA and Realis, and these are the past transactions, and also um, by the past transactions, lah, and we do the tabulation uh, in a way for the estimated gain. Okay, so after this, right, I will show you, um, actually we can also search for HDB itself only. So there's many ways whereby you can search your um, prospector with. Lah. So you can, so just now I've shown you um, how to search by district already. Now I can show you um, search, uh, how to search by HDB estates. So for HDB estates, I will just um, select back Sengkang and Pongo. Okay, just a rough idea only. Same thing, uh, okay, so this prospector, you can actually use this little filter button here, okay, to actually select, okay, just HDB, okay, MOP, SSDD, I want it to be completed, and same thing, 20%, 300,000 gains, continue to search, okay, give it some time, all this would be the HDB estate in Pongo and Sengkang, HDB estates, uh, okay, so you can also click here and see the tower view, Saw it? Okay, so one time, so one time, and you know that actually all these are gaining money, la, right? Okay, so if let's say you go uh, do door knocking, but of course now you cannot do door knocking, la, but if let's say next time you do door knocking, right, you can actually skip those units uh, that are actually losing money. Am I right to say that? You can actually go to, like, let's say this one, 16565. Uh, this agent, uh, this owner is actually earning 350000 so it's a good time to, you know, speak to that. Mr. Owner, something like that. Okay, so after uh, after this, right, after you have uh, you, you have decided to actually uh, target this 272 Pongo walk area, so what's the next step you want to do for milling labors is to export the milling labors. Okay, so how do you do it? Okay, so if let's say you key already, uh, you already filter just now, you want 300,000 gain, Pongo and Sengkang, HDB, uh, you can actually export the milling labors. So very simple, just click on it, this thing will pop up, you can actually key in your email address and get it for free. Follow? Okay, so when I key like that, right, automatically I can check my um, Gmail, okay, as in my, my email. Lah. Okay, so what happened, right, is it will appear on my Gmail. Okay, this one, this is the one, the first one. Okay, so you, when you open this up, right, just check, lah, just check, okay, whether, okay, residential, Okay, the first criteria is correct. HDB gain more than 300,000, gain above 20%, okay, uh, in, in which area? Pongo, okay, I'll target Pongo and Sengkang. Okay, so here's two ways where you can do it with the, uh, this uh, mailing labels. So as you can see, there's two links over here, right? So actually, the first link here is for you to do like a DIY. What do, we do, what do I mean by DIY? You can actually go to the popular bookstore and buy your own mailing label sticker. Okay, so you can design, print out, and then send to your owners. So when you click on this link, it will come out in an Excel format. What do you mean by Excel format? Okay, let me just open it up for you guys to uh, have an idea. Yeah, so here, here you go. So basically, you can see the full address, including the units, okay, and even the postal code. So all these are actually, you can go to popular bookstore, print it out. Out, okay, design and mail it out. And if let's say you don't know how uh which mailing label size to buy, right? You can come to us, like your, your account manager. We will explain which we will actually let you know which uh, mailing labels to buy. Okay, so you can come to us for that lah. Okay, another way of the mailing labels, right, is to um okay, hang on, let me go back to my mail. The second link here over here, right, is actually uh another way, another popular way is to uh, do mail merge, okay? So you can approach those professional printing companies, is, which is uh, like a one-stop solution for all agents. Uh. So you can, the uh, printing company can actually help you design, print, and even mail out for you. But of course, that's the more expensive way, whereby their mailers cost around 60 cents to $1 per mailer. Yeah, but you can engage their service, of course, to save your time, uh, okay? So um, the format is different from the first one. So this is the Excel. For this one, right, how does it look like? Let me just show you, like. When you click in, it will actually look like, hang on, uh, when I click, 
just now have I have already saved it. A lot. How come don't have? Okay, never mind. <laughs> so what happened? Um, okay, wait. Let me just try again. Because it opened in Zoom, I must open in uh Google Drive. Okay, so the mailing labels, right? I don't know whether you all can see lah, but it looks like that. Uh, yeah, something like that. Something like that. So it's not Excel file, but it's like a sticker format. You just actually send to the uh, one-stop solution printing company, right? Then they can actually print out like that, like that. You know, all these are the uh, address and also... Uh, this is just the address. I don't have the name and contact number of the owner like, because PDPA and DNC are uh, issue. Okay, uh? okay, so why use Prospector to do, do mailing labels? You know, like generic mailers, right? It's um, just very generic, right? Whereby you put like, okay, uh, I'm Mr. Uh, agent, I'm, I'm so-and-so. Okay, buy, sell, rent, you can call me, correct? But for ours, right, we can do a more targeted mailer. What do I mean? You can actually put in the mailing labels, uh, put... Uh, Mr. Owner, do you know that you have a 300,000 capital gain? Something like that. Okay, you can just imprint on the mailer. And then when the owner receives the mailer, maybe somehow they will take a second glance. Uh, am I really earning 300,000? You're not lying in a way because, you know, you, you actually use URA and realist to back you up. And also 99.co. So we actually give you this estimated gain whereby you can actually advise your client, as in your owners. So who knows my the, the owner when they receive this Miller, they might actually contact you, right? Uh, I mean, uh, as compared to generic mailers. Lah. Generic mailers, sometimes, if, if it's me when I receive it, I also won't really take a second glance, okay? So, uh, any question for a uh, prospector? Basically, it's just like that. Lah. So, um, the overall uh, conclusion for like prospector, right, is actually that a prospector can help you, okay, to uh, actually narrow down those potential owners, right, with a certain amount of capital gains, like let's say 300,000. So, you can save I can help agents save their marketing costs, resources, time, and also money, right? Okay, so you can do your mailers for this targeted audience only. Okay, from just now, I show you 160,000 units in District 19. You can actually go down, narrow down to 9K prospects. Really a lot of money here because you are actually, we are talking about mailing labels. Mailing labels, you have to send money in order to reach out to, like, let's say, the whole district to let them know that actually um, I'm, I myself as an agent, I actually um, is always here for this like District 19. Lah. Like I target this District 19. Okay, so you have to make yourself um, known. Lah. So with mailing labels, you can actually uh, reach out to potential owners. Okay, we are done with Prospector. Okay, of course, as you can see, right, we, we have other uh, very interesting tools like um, Project Search, uh, Floor Plans, Floor Plans, whereby you can just go in and search any of the Floor Plans and then you can just download it and um, share with your um, like investors or even put in your listings. We also have open listing. Okay, maybe I can share a bit of the uh, owner's open listing over here. Okay, so as you can see, right, all of these are actually real owner's um, listing. Uh, they actually uh, initiated and submit their listing to us, 98.co, and we actually help them list over here. So actually, it's pretty updated. Lah. So if you sign up with our account, you can actually go in, Okay, this uh, open listing, right? You can do a filter, commercial, residential, whichever. And then you can see uh, which are the owners whereby um, you can help them do their listing. Okay, you can reach out to them and then ask them whether is it okay for you to help them market their listings. This is a little perks for you lah, um, if you join, uh, join us as a paid subscriber. Okay, so um, the next thing would be researcher. Researcher, like I mentioned earlier on, you cannot find it in the app the 99.co app. So where can you find the researcher tool? Okay, so where do you find researcher? It's via our app, okay? Uh, sorry, not our app, our web page link, which is the 99.co slash agents. After you have signed up, you can actually go 99.co slash agents, this URL to actually log in. Okay, as you can see, I've already logged in. Uh. This is my profile, but I'm not an agent. <laughs> I'm just an account manager. Okay, so I cannot do listings. Uh. As you can see. Okay, so where the question is where do you find researcher? Remember, this researcher can only be used on a uh, desktop, laptop, tablet, or iPad. Please do not open, try to open up with your um mobile phone. Okay, not in the app. If you go your mobile phone Safari, you can type 99.co slash agents, yes. But if you click researcher, right, it's um everything will be too crammed together. Later you will see why. 
Okay, so how do I find researcher? You go to residential, under residential, you hover to resources. Okay, hang on. Resources. Okay, and then the first one is researcher. Easy to find, right? So RRR, residential, re resources, and then researcher. Okay, remember these three R's. Okay, let's wait for it to load. Okay, so this is researcher. Okay, so researcher looks like this. So that's what is very already very cramped, and this one we cannot be uh, cannot be uh, minimized or removed lah. This map thing. So basically, you are actually using researcher over here. So if let's say you open up with your phone, lah, it's like super super cramped, and all the details uh, will be juggled uh, all all over lah. So we don't we won't advise you to actually use researcher researcher on your mobile phone. Okay, so. Let me start with um, one scenario, which is a, a real case study. Uh. Actually, my agent used this researcher to close, to secure one of his uh, exclusive listing, HDB exclusive listing, uh, and uh, also managed to uh, convince owner to give the exclusive to him and um, in the end, help him to do the closing. Okay, so as you can see, when you click add segment, right, there's three ways. But today, I'm going to talk about uh, app project at location. Uh. Okay, so when you add project, right, it literally, literally means like adding like uh, an address. Okay, so this is a real case scenario. Okay, so he actually helped to secure this listing. Lah. Okay, this is a, a very old HDB. Okay, so when you click this, right, this is the legend. So later you'll see where it pops up. Okay, then you're, you can click next, get result. Okay, and then what's so special about this, right, is that you can use this little pen to plot your um, graph. So as you can see, if I do this, right, it's very interesting. So I just click and, and then uh, just plot from point to point. I can see that in year 2006 to 2012, actually there's a, deep in, uh, there's a uh, capital appreciation for this HDB. Why? Because last time, you know, like, when we first at uh, our grandparents or our parents, when they have their HDB, right, it's like their first part of Go. So this is a, this is a actually a very uh, old estate. So of course in 2006 to 2021, they are actually earning money. But from 2021, right, you can see the trend is actually depreciating all the way to uh, 2019. So can I say, uh, so the depreciation as you all can see is 24%. Lah. So I can also conclude that each year uh, is, okay, hang on. Each, okay, 20, okay, so for 20. 2021 to 2029, right? 2019, oh my god, I need to delete this. Hang on. Uh. Okay, so as you can see, right, from 2022 to 2019, sorry, I keep stuttering today. Okay, so you can see there's a depreciation of 34%. If you divide by eight years, okay, which is um, 2012 to 2019, eight years, uh, you divide, I can conclude that one year, the uh, depreciation is around 3%. Per year. So what does it mean? It means that if you keep dragging, you don't sell your HDB, right? Every year you will be having a depreciation of 3% in terms of capital gain. I mean, it's a capital depreciation. If you keep holding on, the later you sell, the more painful it is, okay? It will just keep depreciating, okay? So this is one of the scenarios you can actually uh, explain, explain, uh, back out your argument to your owners or let's say investor to actually convince them to sell their HDB. And you might ask, how do we tabulate all of this information? When you scroll down here, right, all these are the past transaction under um, this estate, uh, 160 Street 13, past transaction. Uh, so we plot this over from a URA, a URA and realist also. So all these are real information. Okay. So you can actually use this to convince your owners, okay, or investors. Another thing would be, how are you going to export this chart when you are very satisfied with it already, right? Okay, so I, I will always advise my agents to click this little button to show their face and, you know, uh, their name over here to show that this graph is exclusive to you, okay? So two ways to do it. One is to click this share button, okay, copy URL. But when you send to your owners, right, please ask them to open up using a, an iPad, a tablet, desktop, or laptop. Don't open it up with your phone. A phone, just don't use research on your phone lah, in any ways. If they are serious in buying or selling, right, just, um, you know, just ask them to open up with, with a desktop or iPad to see everything. So what happens if you share this and copy this URL, right? Basically, your owner or investor can see the whole chart, even the past transaction here as well. Okay. Another way is um, 
you want to keep it simpler, you can actually click this uh, export button, whereby you can, okay, this will happen. Uh, this, thing, this thing will uh, come out in a, a photo format and you can actually slide this into your presentation, PowerPoint presentation. Okay, so just now the legend is over here, 160 Ulan Street 13 HDB. So whatever you key in the segment name, uh, the legend, uh, it will appear here. Okay, follow. So this is one of the scenario for HDB lah, whereby you can you know convince the owner to sell, etc. Do your presentation using this chart. Data trends lah, get data trends. Okay, another thing now I want to share with you is a very generic one, a more generic one whereby I can also compare condos. Okay, today I'm going to share how are you going to compare freehold condos versus 99 years. Okay, so this is a refresh page of researcher. Once again, let me show you how do I do it. So you go to add segment, you can click add project or add location. But this time around, I'm going to select add location because why? I'm going to compare the whole of Singapore, okay, whole of Singapore. I want to compare free whole condo versus 99 years. Because in a scenario, let's say you have an investor, you want to let, uh, you want to lead him to buy a new launch condo. You know that 99 years, uh, there's a lot of 99 years condo right now in the market as compared to freehold condo. That's one thing. And the location for 99 years condo is also better. The entry price is also lower. And capital appreciation is also better. But sometimes your investor can be um, really stubborn. They only want freehold condo. So as an agent, right, how are you going to back up your argument? How are you going to convince your age, uh, your investor? Cannot be you just use your mouth say, ah yeah, don't buy it freehold. Ninety nine years is better. You don't have any um evidence or any uh, statistics data trend to back you up. You so that's when you can use researcher to help you, you know, back out your argument lah. Okay, so for this right, this one right, location I will just key Singapore. Okay, likewise you can also compare district to district. But when you key district to district, uh, you don't key like that uh, District something something. You should key D something, D3, okay, District 3, D21, D19. This is how you select district, okay? Don't key the word district out. Okay, so I will, today I will compare whole of Singapore, okay? And segment name, like I've mentioned, is the legend, okay? The legend whereby it, it, it later it will appear, like um, which color represent which graph, okay? So for this, I put freehold condo, freehold condo, Singapore. Or Singapore dash freehold condo also can. Uh. Okay, after you, you are happy with the segment name, you click next. Okay, so under Tenno, you can actually select freehold. Uh. Okay, so for property type, you select select condo because just now we, we mentioned we want to compare condo. Uh. Okay, so this chart will be out. Okay, it's very complicated now, but it's okay. We are going to compare 99 years. So same thing, under location, you click whole of Singapore, segment name, 99 years condo. Singapore. Anything you want to type. Lah. Okay, so when you click next, ah, you can see property type is condo, correct? But then you must select 99 years and unclick freehold. You just make sure that the filters are correct. If not, um, the information will be wrong. Lah. So make sure that the, uh, the filters are correctly applied. Okay, so when you get result, what happened? The orange one will represent 99 years. The blue color one will represent freehold. Awesome. But um, I don't want to be too far-fetched. 2005, very, very long time ago already. So how do I change like to, to compare just like the past recent 10 years or 5 years? Okay, this is how you do it. Eh? Uh, right here. Okay, here, here, uh, here is the one that you should select. Over here, uh, the date. Uh. So when you click right, you can actually compare 5 years or 10 years. Okay, in my case, maybe I just compare the past 10 years. Uh. Okay, so 2005. Okay, how come cannot? It's not loading. Ah, okay, here it comes. Okay, so 2010 to 2020. Now I want to do a comparison. And this thing can come to play. The little pen thingy. Okay, so you can actually plot like that across again. Okay, so you know uh, orange color is 99 years, blue color is free whole. You see the capital appreciation in whole of Singapore. It's very obvious that 99 years is a better solution better choice in terms of capital appreciation. You all agree, right? See, 49% versus 17%. And one more thing, you can also compare vertically like that. Uh, you see the entry level of 99 years is actually 29% cheaper than freehold condo. Okay, 
So uh, same thing, uh, all the past transactions are over here based on past transactions, okay? Too much information, um, all these are from URA release. Okay, now you are very happy with the chart. The next thing is to export and slide into your presentation. So once again, I'll advise you guys to click this uh, agent signature button, okay? So your, your face and name will appear to be exclusive that uh, this is what I've done, okay? And then you can click the export button and this thing will show up very neatly, very nicely, okay? I believe some of you have seen this chart before, lah, researcher, seen some leaders using researcher before. Okay, so the orange color represents um, 99 years and the blue color represents um, freehold condo. Is it right? Of course, there's so, so much more, so many more scenarios where you can play with, lah, but I will just end it here today for researcher. I will leave it to you to go and explore, okay? Uh, you are agent, you know which, um, let's say you know which uh, project to project you want to compare or which district you want to compare. So all this, right, after you sign up, right, it's free of charge to use, uh, but only on the website, lah, not on the uh, phone app, okay? It's different. Lah. So all the other tools you can phone, find on the phone app, only researcher you use this desktop, this link, 99.co slash agents to access. After, uh, after you have um, paid as a sign uh, agent, then you, you log in, okay, log in already, then you go to resources, uh, sorry, residential, then go under resources, then researcher to find this tool, and then just play around with it, export it and the end, or just share it. Okay, clear? Okay, so that's all for researcher today. Okay, uh, if you all want to know more, you can come to um, your, come to me and Ivy, lah, so we can share with you more. And you have any questions, just leave it in the chat. Um, Phyllis will help to answer. Okay, so I will go back to the deck now. Okay. Where do I start? Okay. So, I, okay. so okay. Next one. Okay, very quickly, I will talk about the one that everyone is waiting about, which is the $200 cash subsidy to offset 99.co's product and to be used on January 2021. Remember, this subsidy must be utilized from... 1st of January 2021 to 31st March 2021 strictly, okay? So you can actually sign a um, renewal or even a new subscription with us. Lah. But for product voucher, okay, um, you have to spend a minimum of $500. I mean, uh, for renewal and the, uh, the new sign up would be the same too. So uh, it will be minimum $500 to deduct the $200, lah, okay? So you can renew your contract if, you're, if um, it's applicable from uh, January to March 2021. Okay, understand? So if you have any questions regarding this $200 uh, cash subsidy, come to me and IV. We will really um, explain in details to you also. Don't worry about it, just approach us, okay? Okay, so just now like I mentioned, $200 subsidy, right? If let's say you want to use it on our products, what products can you use, use it on? We have many, many interesting products. Lah. Okay, we have featured agents. We also got this thing plus. Okay, feature agent, I don't need to say so much. Like, you all should know what, what it means. Okay, so I will jump right into uh, Listing Plus. Okay, so Listing Plus, as you can see, right, how it differs from normal, regular listing. When you purchase Listing Plus from us, right, you can actually cre create must-see listing. Okay, so what does it consist of? We will be giving you minimum 30 guaranteed leads, okay, within uh, three months. Okay, if let's say for three months, uh, we, cannot, we cannot fulfill the all the minimum 30 guarantee leads, right? What happened is 99.co, our back end will actually uh, take out our own marketing money, okay? And help you run the campaign. Uh, don't care, regardless if it's a six months or nine months, we will definitely promise you the 30 guarantee leads, okay? So what you do is just sit there and wait for your guarantee leads, that's all, okay? And then uh, for this 599 package, right, you also will be receiving a V360 tour for one of your listing, which is worth $150. Okay, so this, this V360, right, actually worth $150, but it's inside this 599 package. Uh, so this is like uh, free lah, in a way. So you can choose one of your, any of your listing. So all, all you need to do, right, you sign this 599, you book a slot, okay, then you go open the door for the V360 team. They help you do everything, ah, then you just wait for the V360 tour, okay, and then put on your listing, that's all. Okay, and also what's the, what, the, uh, what are the other differences is that, the listing right will be bigger also and more interactive lah, image of a carousel. And most importantly, we are giving you the minimum guarantee leads. Lah. Yeah, more exposure compared to the regular listing. Oh, and one last thing, your listing right will always be pinned on top. Okay, meaning to say those people refresh, refresh, trying to get their listing on top, right, will be still under you if you have this, if you activate this must see listing. Get it? Means your listing will be pinned on top lah, okay? Okay, so this is the new subscription uh, 
new sub subscription bundle package that we have. We have one is called the uh, Platinum, the other one is uh, Ultimate. Okay, so Platinum is the more basic uh, package. La. So Ultimate is the more upgraded version. So as you can see, the differences will be 100 listing compared to 300 listing, 4,000 credits compared to 10,000 credits. Uh, these 10,000 coins, uh, we don't have it anymore. We will be replacing these 10,000 coins to one-time Masi listing. Okay, but the Masi listing uh, is only for one listing only. So the differences between this Masi listing and the listing plus is a bit different. This listing plus, right, is uh, we will give you 30, minimum 30 guarantee leads. And you can put up to three, minimum three listing, maximum five listing in a go. But this, right, under this package, uh, the uh, Masi listing is a one-time listing only and we won't be we wouldn't be able to give you any guarantee leads basically just one of your listing you can activate you pin there on top for three months so you don't have to refresh your listing those people other agents that refresh their listing will be under your listing so it's like a featured featured listing lah in a way so it is that one the one i just mentioned the featured listing thing right is under this ultimate only uh platina you won't be able to get that one okay so the main difference is just this um 100 listing versus 300 4,000 credits per year versus 10,000 credits per year. And out under this ultimate, you will get the one-time Masi listing worth $150. We don't have this coin system anymore. Yeah, we have to update the slide soon. Okay, and then this is the uh, credits. Lah. So uh, we have the most basic one whereby you can pay uh, $99 for 400 credits, etc., etc. All these you can use the $200 subsidy to buy. Lah. But of course, the minimum spending is $500, right? So um, this is the tier. So... Basically, after 200 subsidy, you just pay 300 for 3,500 credits. Huh? Okay. Uh, this is just a brief uh, run through. Lah. So basically, um, you know, Orange Day, we will give you trial account. But the main difference between having a paid account versus trial account, there's a huge bus dif dif different. Ah, yeah, I keep stuttering, sorry. Huge uh, differences. Lah. Okay. So basically, for trial account, we will be giving you 50 credits versus um, our uh, platinum, which is 4,000 credit a year. Okay, uh, this one get it. Uh. So um, this credit can be used to refresh your listings. Five listings for sale, three, list, uh, three credits for rental. Okay, and also for trial account, you won't be able to access the tools that I've mentioned, which, which is the prospector, researcher, uh, floor plans, etc. And then if you pay in full, you'll be able to access all of the tools for free. Okay, no hidden costs. Okay, other thing, another thing is iProperty. You won't be able to access iProperty premium account if you sign up with us, Platinum today, you will be getting premium uh, I property premium account, which is the uh, owner's open listing lah, the five years back data data FSBO FRBO. Okay, for listing ranking, right? Of course, um, if you are a paid account first uh, agent, of course your listing will be prioritized, and those trial accounts right, will be under those paid accounts, even though they refresh their listings as well. So even those trial account agents are uh, they go and refresh their listings, it will be still uh, below than those paid agents. Make sense, right? Uh, more fair ma, like that okay and for lead access of course uh, if you are a paid agent you can get unlimited leads okay for your listings but for trial account you can only get up to your first three leads the fourth leads right that come in you cannot see the contact anymore how to unlock it then is to upgrade to pay account okay okay so a brief run through only yeah so if you have any question regarding this also come to me and ivy okay or phyllis also can la, but come to me and ivy la. okay so for today if, let's say you want to sign up right we are giving you a hundred dollars discount, lah. Okay, five eight eight. Same thing for platinum, and stand a chance to win iPhone twelve and other exciting prizes. All these will, uh, we will continue to run this until the end of November, lah. So five eight eight and until the end of November, then you will get a chance to join in the lucky draw. Okay, so I hope you win. Okay, so last but not least, I will just flash our contact one last time. Thank you so much, Yiming, and the rest of OTT's agents. Have a nice day. <laughs> okay, thank you, Joanna. Thank you for your sharing. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, we shall end the session now. So, if let's say you have any questions, you can just uh, text them, WhatsApp them, call them. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye.